How's it? Today is Wednesday, March 22nd. It is back squat and overhead press. So this week, I was supposed to be doing a deload, right? And I talked to Steve on Monday. And instead of doing a deload the whole week, I wanted to kind of continue pushing the Wednesday and the Friday, or sorry, the, the Saturday lifts. Which means that squat today would be pushing up from last week rather than deloading. Saturday would push up from Saturday as well rather than deloading. And Monday and Friday would be a little bit of a deload. So I did powers, light powers, um, and complex and stuff on Monday. Today, I was pushing to 149 for three fives and 110 on the back squat. And I, I did not do well. I I'm honestly pretty upset with how it went. This is 140. So this is my last warm up, and then 149. I think my sets at the, the fives were pretty good. They were challenging, but I did think that I could I would be able to do them all. Um, as far as this rep scheme goes, I knew that I would be able to do five fives. But I don't know if I would be able to do three fives and then one ten. Same amount of reps, but just in a harder format. And I was not able to do it. I'm very disappointed with how it went. Like the speed that I have on this second set, I think is significantly better than the first set. And it, I honestly think that I should be able to do ten. But I ended up misgrooving my seventh rep which I made and then I failed my eighth rep. And that's my first fail on this squat program. This is the 14th week that I've been doing it. Kind of similar rep scheme where I do a bunch of sets of five and then one set of 10. And I didn't think that that would happen today. Honest to God. I was kind of looking forward to next week already where next week would kind of be close to meeting a, a lifetime PR as far as volume goes. Here's the set. So one, two, three, four, and then I take a break. I do a single five, single six, um, and then you'll watch. We'll watch. So six here. Six is okay. A little bit slower than normal, and then seven for whatever reason. I I lean forward a little bit more than a normal, and you see that right there. That kind of um, hips kind of wanting to flex a little bit and I basically had to kind of push my knees under the bar and then I just was not able to do anything else after that and I was just very upset um so I did seven um also Chris I haven't seen Chris in forever so um it's great to see him and Carlo of course but I, I came back and I did a set of three at 150 which is one kilo higher and kind of makes up for the reps that I missed and like with the way that this moved, it kind of it, it made me more upset that I missed the eighth rep on that that set of ten. And it's just like I like I had it, you know. I do think I'm plenty strong. I think that if I didn't miss groove that seventh rep, eight, nine, and ten would have fallen pretty easily. And I just feel silly because I was kind of rushing through it. Carlo even said like it looked like it was going faster than than I normally would um, wanted to, and that's true of that only of that seventh rep. And I I I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know what this means going moving forward. I don't know what this means um, for Saturday, really. Like I'm in territory of PRing for like lifetime PRs, and that is something that I honestly wasn't able to say about my lifting for a very long time. Um, especially with last week's block PR snatch um, and then kind of how easy last week's deadlifts felt. It's just like I am I'm ready to PR in something and I, I just want to give myself the opportunity to do that. Um, after my back squats, I go up to my overhead press. Rather than doing five fives at a certain weight, I'm going for a top set of five at 70, which is two kilos higher than last week's 68. And then I'm doing down sets at 10% less. So I'm doing down sets at 63. I wasn't sure how many down sets I was going to do. I planned to originally do 
three down sets, so three sets of five. So one top five and then three down fives. I ended up doing five down fives because, I don't know, I was upset and I wanted to make sure that I got good work in. Not to say that 149 for a set of seven and then 150 for a set of three is not good work, but by the standard that I'm trying to set, you know, the expectation that I was trying to set, like, that's not good work. But I made all five fives at 63, which is pretty good. You know, a few short weeks ago, like a month ago, I was struggling like 64 for five fives. So doing 63 after a top set of 70 is progress in some essence, right? Uh, after that, I moved into my dips, 320s, um, Bulgarian split squats, 310s, and then my dumbbell lateral raise, which I reintroduced again, and then some back extensions. Um, I think like today was a weird day. It was it was an extremely long day. I felt excessively tired throughout the day. Usually I take my lunch break at like eleven ish. Um but today I took it at like ten ish. And so it just didn't I, I just was not feeling it today. Um try my best to be on better diet so I can start to lean out a little bit and and make weight easily this this meat. So um that's something that I am really focusing on is dialing in my diet and hopefully the PRs still still are able to come through because I think I'm strong and I haven't been eating well. So if I start to eat well, eat properly, eat like the correct amount of protein, correct amount of fiber, correct amount of carbs, then ideally I will I will get to a point where I'm fueling for performance the best I can. So yeah, uh, that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching. Hopefully next week will be better. Shoots.